morning guys and welcome to our first yoga class. I am so excited to be here with you. I hope you are excited to be here as well. All right, so for today, I wanna just go over why we're doing yoga, okay? Yoga goes with mindfulness because of the gentle movements. We're not gonna go full, full on yoga. We're just gonna do some gentle poses in gentle sequences that help and support the mindfulness breathing that is so important that we're practicing, okay? So today, I just wanna go over some basic yoga poses with you, right? Oh, let me back it up. Yoga is important. Why is it important? Well, it has so many health benefits. Okay, so I'm going to have a list of things that I've written of why yoga is so good for students, right? It creates a nice calm, which is so important for learning, right? We have to be calm in order to learn. We never really learn well if we're not calm. It's just not, it doesn't work that way. Um, it builds a strong mind-body awareness, right? So we can have a connectedness between our minds and our bodies, get nice and in sync with each other. It helps with our balance and motor skills, of course, right? Um, it helps with our posture so we're not slugging down so much. Um, it helps with our communication and organizational skills because like I said, it works on the brain. And so those things are, you know, helping. Um, um, it helps with focus, concentration, comprehension, and memory. Why is that? Well, we talked about it. Prefrontal cortex, the amygdala, and um, the hippocampus. Those are the three major players in learning, right? And those things are all greatly affected by doing yoga and mindfulness, right? With that deep breathing, because yoga involves the deep breathing, okay? Um, and it just, other things that it, that it does is, um, helps build our flexibility and strength, right? We have to be strong, right? Yoga builds arm strength, builds leg strength, builds core strength, which is so important. Core is your, your middle, right? Your whole center here. And that is the reason why so many people get injured all the time is because their cores are weak. So yoga helps strengthen the core very much. It's very effective on the core, okay? Um, and it helps build patience also. You know, some of us are very impatient. Yoga helps with patience because it, um, it um, we have to hold a pose for so long, right? So we have to be patient with it, right? And the stamina comes in, right? Doing something, persevering through something comes in because some of these poses are gonna be difficult. But we're gonna try. And we're gonna try really hard to hold them for as long as we can because we wanna do the best for our body, right? We wanna be mindful, right? We wanna give this 100%. And I promise you guys, if you do, you are going to see the benefits. All right, so now that we know why we're doing the yoga, why it's so important for our well-being and for learning, let's get into our first pose. Okay, so you can, if you have a mat, get one out. If you do not, um, it's okay too. You could just uh, use a towel or a blanket or just, you know, sit on the floor. Whatever, I do it plenty on the floor or outside in the grass, I, it, it doesn't matter. Um, you really don't always need a mat. All right, our first pose is just basically our seated pose. Okay, so there are three different ways you can sit. You can sit crisscross applesauce like I'm sitting. You can sit, some people prefer to sit on their knees like this, and that's okay. Or you can sit what's called a half lotus, right, where you're putting one foot up and one foot down like that. A full lotus would be both feet up. Half lotus is tricky enough, right? So you could put one foot up, or you could just sit crisscross. Whatever works good for you. So most of our positions actually stem from, um, especially seated positions, we always usually start in this seat position, okay? Um, this is just one of the very basic foundational um, positions of yoga, all right? So what does this seat do? Well, you wanna just really balance when you're sitting in a seat. You wanna sit up nice and tall, your hands, like I said, on your left, facing down, facing up, hold your fingers together 
time when I had a team, it doesn't matter. Whatever feels good for you, that's the most important thing. You wanna feel comfortable and relaxed. You never wanna feel pain. And you always wanna breathe. Really important in yoga. Okay, so this seated position, just sitting here, doing nothing more than sitting here is really, really good for our backs, our lower backs, our core, and our spine, right? So this is the seated pose. Now you know three different ways to do it. The next pose we are going to be talking about is the mountain pose. All right, I'm back to do my mountain pose. Let me move my body back just a little bit. Okay. Can you see me there? All right, so we do in a mountain pose. We just basically just stand there with our feet hip width apart, our hands palms facing out and we're just gonna really this is really good for our posture and for grounding and I talked about that before right when I said our feet touching the ground and why it's nice to do it on the grass that's called grounding guys that's something where we plant our feet and we really feel the earth under our feet we try to feel the sensations in our feet I'm gonna to try to do that now in our mountain pose, okay? So the mountain pose is basically just stand there with your arms and your hands facing out. And it's tricky. Try to keep your hands facing like that. My hands are already a little tired and I'm just demonstrating the pose to you. So you're gonna keep your feet grounded. And I want you to think about the four corners of your feet, right? From your big toe, right under your big toe, the pressure there pinky toe, the back right part of your heels, the inside of your heel, I mean the outside part of your heels, and the inside part of your heels. Really try to press your feet into those areas and notice the feeling behind your feet. Now this isn't really, I'm just showing you the poses, right? When we really get into our yoga, we're gonna move quickly through different poses. But I just wanna show you what this feels like, right? We're being mindful. Feel the sensation of your toes in mountain pose, okay? Another thing we can do in mountain pose is just stroke our shoulders up to our ears and down. Up and down. If you wanna rock them around, roll them back. Again, let's do that one more time, or two, three. Three, so that's what's called the mountain pose. All right, so our next pose is, we'll love this one. Well, we all know this one, right? I don't know if we all love it, but it's downward facing dog, right? We're going to go into our downward dog position, guys. Just pedal out your legs. Important part of down dog is to keep that spine super straight. It's okay if your knees are bent like mine. It's tricky for me to get, my backs of my legs are super tight. So it's hard to get my feet flat on the mat. I'm still working on that. That's why yoga is a practice, guys. We work on these things until we get really good at it, right? It's like anything else. So that's what's called the downward dog. Downward dog stretches the backs of the legs, calves, your hamstrings, your shoulders, your back. Such a great stretch for your body, right? That's the downward dog. All right, the next pose I'm going to teach you, we're gonna just come down on all fours, is called the cat Cow. Okay, we're in tabletop position. Inhale in, arch your back. Good cow. Exhale. 
for cat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Back to tabletop. So that's basically the cat cow. A variation of that would be to extend your right leg and your left foot and try to hold it. Really good for your spine and your core, getting it nice and strong. Okay, come back down, let's do it to the other side. Lift your left arm and your right leg and extend it out. Reach that left arm out, reach your right foot out as far as you can, and hold. Bring it back. So that's the cat-cow variation. All right, so that's the cat-cow. So our next pose right from here, we're gonna kinda just bring our feet together, our knees apart, pretty wide apart, kinda to the edge of your mat if you have one. If not, it's a little farther than your shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna come back down all the way into what's called a child's pose. So the child's pose is your arms extended out in front of you, your forehead touches the ground, and you just lay here. This is child's pose. I love child's pose. This is great for strengthening and lengthening your back strengthening your arms and the sides of your back, opening up your hip muscles. This is so great for so many different parts of our bodies. If you don't feel comfortable with your arms extended out in front of you, you can put your arms back. You can put your arms back like this and lay like this. Like I said, yoga is about feeling good, not pain. So if it's painful, don't do it. Find the position that ch challenges you, but does not cause you any pain. Okay, so that's child's pose, right? And the final pose that we will we'll do sometimes, not all the time, but I'm just gonna show it to you anyway, is just called um, the resting pose. And that's really good sometimes when we meditate, sometimes at the end of yoga. And basically all it is, is we're laying nice and flat. Our arms are to the side against us, our palms are facing up. And we just relax and breathe. Let's take a couple of deep inhales, guys, as we're laying in this position. Continue laying here to relax, you can. And I'm just gonna roll up into a nice, comfortable seat. And we are going to end our practice with one long, deep inhale in while we raise our arms up. Pressing our hands together, bringing them down to our heart center. Okay. Pressing our hands together, boys and girls, creates balance on both sides of our bodies. It's a way to bring balance to our bodies. So you do that. I have my hands spread apart. You can have them together, whatever works for you. Well, I really enjoyed that, showing you the yoga poses and doing them with you. I hope you enjoyed it too. We are gonna get so much stronger and calmer and just better people for ourselves and for everyone around us. Until next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep up the good work. Bye-bye.